hi how are you um last time we were on the vlog it was q and a and it was part one so today we're going to do part two i am sorry of how it ended last time but today is part two and let's get right into it remember to subscribe uh kindly kindly subscribe let's hit the 500 subscribers before the end of april i know we are very very able my capable friends see you in this vlog Excuse me, miss. Are you currently dating someone? Yes, but they live in another nation. What nation? My imagination. Yes. <laughs> so how do you, uh, the other question, how do you get to be connected with the boy? Ooh, child. It's an everyday process. Hey, it's an everyday process. You have to relentlessly, relentlessly, sorry, um, want to be close with God. And the, the way, um, Psalms 119, Psalms 119, literally, there's a question again, let me just say, Psalms 119 is my favorite chapter, and sort of my favorite uh, verses is that I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not see that it's true. That's how you get connected with God. Every day, every day you hide God's word in your heart that you may not see that it's true. So it's an everyday awareness of God that you just have to be aware of God, His presence, and strive to want to be with him and to seek him and to spend time you know one thing that i literally learned the same way you have time to chat and to be on whatsapp or to instagram or sleep or watch movies you can be intentional with reading the word of god and you don't even have to be, it doesn't have your heart to be the whole day just separate like two hours that's what i usually do and i said it in the other video two hours of your time that's what i do every 2 p.m to 4 p.m two hours that i'm i am spending time with god i am reading his word i'm seeking him i am praying because literally if i don't be that intentional my day will just run like that and it's just i've just prayed in the morning and that's it so you just have to be intentional in seeking god and that's why you be connected with him and also my other favorite scripture psalms 27 verse 8 sorry if yes, i say it. the lord says seek my face my heart says your face i will seek the heart thing just has to come from the heart yes that's how i get connected with god and through his word and prayer yeah favorite artist favorite artist heal song will be forever my best heal song will forever be my best artist heal song. i love it so just deep i love elevation also i love the shop called but heal song right also um that was favorite international artist my favorite local artist is Eunice Njeri she's a worshiper and a half um fa oh yeah there's that question favorite verse favorite chapter I've said it Psalms 119 that's my favorite chapter the whole chapter favorite verses are Psalms 119 verse 10 11 and then Psalms 27 verse 4 those are my favorite verses so far favorite youtuber it would be wrong to say myself um, i'm myself favorite <laughs> just joking but yeah i would choose me but my favorite youtuber is jesus i watch a lot of youtube youtube channels from cars to lifestyle to i don't know i have to say one jiru because i'm literally hooked onto her channel she's my favorite i'm hooked to her content i will watch from beginning to end all the time but your jury so far is my failed youtube channel youtuber i would say that yeah um advice to young girls dating <laughs> why would i advise young girls dating and anyway um advice to young girls dating one thing i'd say is don't enter into something that you know it's just a trial sex enter into something that you know this one is lead to marriage meaning don't you have your not your whole lifetime but there's no point of you entering into a relationship young and you still have to figure out stuff so there's no rush just go at your own pace and don't enter something just for trials it's like oh my friends are having relationships i was there oh my friends are having relationships so i want to enter into one no enter into a relationship knowing that this one is going to lead to marriage because my my um reverend usually tells us the way that people enter into relationships break up was they are just practicing divorce am i clear <laughs> 
Am I clear? Yeah, so just to know that this one is the little marriage. So there's no hurry. There's no hurry. In God's time, it will come. That's my advice. Just yeah. Anyway, are you a morning or night person? I have always asked myself this question. Am I a morning? I struggle waking up in the morning, but I get a lot of things done in the morning. Hey, I'm not a night person. So yeah, I'm a morning person. My I have a friend, Major would disagree, but I'm a morning person. <laughs> I'm a morning person. We no, no Will you give me your number? Will you give me your number? Hmm, 07 plus 254 7 29. <laughs> can we date? Yes, we can. Yes. We can date. Whoever asked that one, yes, we can date. Um, I want to buy you lunch. Child, you have just you have hit the right spot. Yes, please buy me lunch of this corona. Or just tell me when you're in town. Just take away and then go eat at home. Yes, you can buy me lunch. <laughs> um, you inspire me. I would like to be you. Oh, thank you. They are crying. Infector of change. EOC. Never forget that I'm an effector of change. Um, have you ever kissed? <laughs> have you ever kissed someone? Hmm, have I ever kissed? Yeah, I have. I have kissed three three people before I literally knew what salvation is. Yeah, I have. And my next kiss, I would love to save it to eat to be at the altar uh, when I'm getting married. That's what I save it. Yes. <laughs> Um, that one, I think that one will be on a pillow talk series. We're going to do it with Stacey. So, uh, my most embarrassing moment. Ooh, I think I have to. <laughs> There's one time, well, we had went to the gym in school. So, uh, we were doing squats with lift on your shoulder. That was the first time we ever doing it. Hey, squats. Me, personally, when I went to the gym, leg day is really the worst. Leg day involves squats, lunges. Um, donkey kicks, all those things you can imagine that you're you exercising your leg muscles. So she was squatting, so my first time to squat. And then the trainer was there behind because he was holding the bar because it had weight, it had like 10 10, so you were holding 20. So you were squatting. I farted, nearly shoot her. I give a new man, I look at a new it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. Cause this is after I finished it was a end up for <laughs> so like I can't shoot her. And then <laughs> I can't. when we were going back to the house, I told her, I was like, mm, really, really don't say you have shoot her. So yeah, that was hey, that's my most embarrassing. That's bad. And the second embarrassing is guy in around 2017 or 2016. I was told to leave um holy communion in church in the youth church it was a Kesha. See, I went there and I was like so you know what we are drinking is actually juice, it's not the blood of Jesus. So that's what we are going to say. So I pray, I thank you for this cup as you take it, bless it, blah blah blah. And then I said, now you may take your juice. Yeah, it was that bad. Like now you may. You know, later on, I, I thought about, like, are you serious? Are you, are you literally serious to say that? So, yeah, those are my two most embarrassing moments so far. Favorite hobby? I don't think this is a hobby. I don't know for simple not be a hobby, but I love reading these days. So, yeah. Mm. These days, I'm a fan of reading books, but every month I need to have a current. So that's my favorite hobby. Really mm. Most embarrassing thing that has happened to you on a date. Most embarrassing thing that has happened to me on a date. Mm. I don't think I don't think I have an embarrassing thing that has happened to me. Because when I go on a date, I never try to be something else. I just be myself. So if it's eating, I will eat. Like no man's business. Would care, so I don't think there's any embarrassing thing. Oh, there is. <gasps> this was not even a date. This was not even. We were just. We were just. 
going out so we were trying so personally i like trying new restaurants in town um just because i love new things so my, my friend is called major so we wanted to go um we were in the size of kimathi street so we had gone to all those restaurants so we said the only one we have not gone to is cadley school it was there around it was next it's next to KFC where at cafe is right now. So I said let's go to Cadillac Coffee. So see we sat. Okay, we were brought in the menu. Um I when the menu came we were like, hey, sh- hey shut up. What? Like coffee is more expensive here than even in Java. Hey, we're like, mm-mm, mm-mm. We're not wasting our money for this. So we're like, I such a dog. And personally I hate going to a restaurant and coming out without having buy something. I will still buy. That's how I waste my money sometimes. So see, we were there, and we just like, mm-hmm, is there a person on week? Tio, yo, tio, yo, what? Ah, so we're like, so sad to find your name. So we're like, ah, then talk it. Like, ni kai kama tuna argue ni talk it. Bio, and then unifuate. I was like, no, I just felt so me. Him, he was already said like that's what we are doing. So to go up, yeah, yeah, she talk her, Ali talk her, and then I can go she kitty. So literally everybody looked at her like, what is happening to both of you? Ali toka kangusha kiti. Oh my god, it was a cow. I just woke up and told the waiter, you know what? I'm so sorry. So sorry, there's something that is wrong with him. So I just picked the chair and I went. It was embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. It was literally very embarrassing. Yes. There's a, also another thing that happened with me and Stacy, uh, my best friend. We went to now at cafe. We are now currently scuffles at cafe. We went in and we asked if they have the offer for burgers. We wanted to go to Urban Gourmet, but we thought at cafe has. So at cafe, there are burgers for, for two people, they were like for 1300. Aish! And we had budgeted 990. You know, when you're on a budget, you're strict on a budget. So 990 were like, oh, nah. we just went, sat, just looked at the menu. And then Storm we told the waiter, you know what, we just wanted Urban Gourmet, that's okay. And we just went there to just see the ambience because it's new. It's the latest one in town. I, I have, I have. Anyway, that, those are my two on a date. I, but it was not a, on a date. It was not a date date basically. But anyway, most awkward situation one has ever put you in. That one with major. That was the most awkward one ever. What do you dislike? I dislike people taking advantage of Because personally, if I care for someone, I will try to and I will do everything for them. So when someone takes advantage of that or doesn't appreciate that, it really, it really hurts me. That's one thing that can hurt me and make me really afraid to just stop it. Then things you look for in a guy, oh child. <laughs> things I also things I look for in a guy is one. And they love God more than they love me. I know that will be hard for people to know, but when a guy loves God more than they love you, they will always want direction from God and want to put God at the center of a relationship. I learned that the hard way. So yes, a guy who loves God more than they love me, a guy who respects me and my choices because I have principles and I don't want to go against those principles. And I hate a guy who puts me in a place that I question my principles or the covenants I made with God. Um, the other thing that I look for in a guy is respect and so far those are the two things. I don't I don't I can't remember the third one. But yeah, they love God more than they love me and they respect me as a lady. Oh the three the third thing I look for in a guy is support. Support. Yeah, support in the things that I do because it will I will naturally I will naturally and support you in your things so if you don't support me in return or support the things that I want to do or choose I've chosen to do that still yeah so I look for those two things in a guy. The other things come later like not later but they are they are like number four number five a guy who dresses nicely who looks fine not fine but dresses nicely me a guy who like dressing for me is key is literally 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 key Someone asked me, I have two more questions. Someone asked me your favorite song. So far right now, my favorite song is Graves into Garden and Fotosha Cobbs and a group called Holy Water. You turn graves into garden. You turn graves into garden. 
Thank you. I'm a very versatile person. I can't say that I have this fashion sense. I can wear streetwear. I can wear official. I can wear casual. I can rock tomboy. I am a versatile person. So I like my style. I can't clearly define that I am more of a chic class. I can do all and all look good in me. So I asked the father for the question. Oh! This one! This one! I don't answer. My friend is telling me, do you answer? Do I really want to answer that? Am I this? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not dating, but I'm not in search of a guy or someone. So yes, I'm not dating and I'm not looking. I am content the way I am. Maybe I'm having I have like a crush or like a like somewhere. Maybe I do, but I'm not dating and I'm not looking for someone. But the person who said, please take me for lunch. I am game. Take me. Take me to lunch.